Hello again, mga kaguro. It's me, Teacher Hazel, and welcome back to my channel. So, for today, we are going to talk about, or I will teach you on how to make a real-time quiz using the quiz is okay so if uh, you want your assessment to be real time especially when you are teaching online I think this is a very good tool to use to assess your pupils or your students so of course the first thing that you should do is to um, sign up again for another account you have to go to quizis.com. Okay, so after searching quizis.com, you're going to sign up for an account as a teacher. Okay, so as a teacher, and then kapag ka meron na kayong account, there you go. Uh, you have to log in, and it will appear like this. Ganitong ganito siya ang itsura. So, um, if you do not have much time to make your own or to create your own quizzes, uh, meron tayo mga gallery. Okay, we have a gallery. I'm sorry. We have a gallery to choose from. So, depending po sa subject ninyo. Okay, it depends sa subject na tinuturo ninyo. So, it's almost complete. Everything is here. Okay, meron din siyang math. Okay. So... To make it faster, you can choose or you can type in here. Like, for example, if you're go, if you or if your topic is about a uh, um, plural form of irregular verbs, so try nyo lang to search that one. At meron kayong Ayan, ito yung filtered um, result ng mga quizzes. So, you can check the content kung ano yung laman niya. So, ituturo nyo lang yung cursor na ganyan dito. Halimbawa, sa first na quiz na yan. So, these are the 10 questions. So, makikita ninyo. Ayan. Yan yung mga questions. So, dito sa mga given cho choices, ito choose lang ninyo. So, for example, nakapili kayo, let's say, this one, ikiklik lang ninyo siya. Alright. And then, you're going to give it real time and the students are online. Like, for example, nasa Zoom kayo. Okay? So, nasa Zoom classroom kayo. So, you have to start the quiz. You click classic. And then, of course, you have to click continue. And there, ito po yung enter join code. So, if you are going to share the link to your pupils or to your students, ito po yung code na ilalagay nila. So, how to get the link na isi-share sa student, you're going to click this one or share via to get the code and copy link. Ayan, nakopya na siya. So, ipipaste na lang po ninyo siya sa messenger. So, for example, kunwari na nasend na yung link sa may estudyante. Ayan. So, hihintayin nyo na lang na may mga makapasok dito. The names of the students will appear on this part. Kapag ka nakapasok na sila. And if, they, if everybody is in, you are going to start the you are going to click the start button. Okay. So, doon na. Mag-start mag ng mag-quiz yung mga estudyante. So, you can see who's answering the correct and uh, the correct item or they are uh, answering, they are uh, giving the correct answers or wrong answers. Kasi, pag nag-pink siya, that means wrong yung na-sagot uh, nila. Okay. You can also uh, create. Okay. You can also create your own. So, i-end muna natin ito. Actually, ito ay kapag ka, if you don't have much time to make your own. Okay? I-end mo siya. 
Ayan. Pag tapos na yung mga estudyante na mag-quiz lahat, so you're going to click end and then makikita yung rank nila. And of course, you can also see their scores. And if you want to create your own, ito yung create button. So, quiz. And then, uh, let's say, uh, you're going, to, uh, your topic is about the articles, a, articles, and uh, a, and, and you're uh, nothing because sometimes but plural you don't need to use uh, any article right so you're going also to choose the subject English for example and then click next and then ito, mamimili ka na if it's multiple choice so I always prefer to do to use the multiple choice and so for example uh, item number one is I bought blank orange for my sister so you're going to type the choices or your options no a and and then dash pagkawala all right and then Tantyahin mo lang siya kung ilang seconds nila dapat, ano. So, I think 30 seconds is enough. Ayan. Okay na siya. Alright, and then, iti-check mo kung alin yung tamang sagot. So, I bought an orange. Ayan. So, yun yung magiging tamang sagot niya. And then, save. Ayan na. So, next question. Multiple choice. Number two. Sophia bought some Oh, sorry. Apples yesterday. So, ulitin lang. You're going to type the choices and then checkan mo yung tamang sagot. Ayan. And then save. Ayan siya. So, paulit-ulit lang yon, Just the same process po. So, uh, hanggang sa ilan ang gusto mo. Okay? Alright. And then, after that, you have to click done. Ayan. You can add an image. Alright. And then, you're going to, uh, from grades. Ayan. So, yung grade level ng mga bata. Alright, so let's say fifth like that. Okay, public or visible if you want to share it to everybody. Na nagsusers and then you're going to click save. So derecho na siya, nandoon na sa iyong library. Ayan, so ito na po yung ginawa natin. Okay, so um, the best thing about this quiz is that com po ay uh, nakaka-excite sa mga bata when they are taking the quiz online kasi nakikita nila yung rank nila so mas nagiging competitive sila and then um, they will be pushed to answer the questions correctly kasi makikita nila eh kung uh, tama ba yung mga sinasagot nila or hindi so um, it's fun Okay, so aside from using the other, uh, from uh, uh, aside from using other resources, uh, it's also nice to use quizzes.com, especially if you want the quiz real time. So I hope may natutunan po kayo sa tutorial na ito, and if you like the video, please uh, share or uh, like. 
And then, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para sa mga susunod ko pang video. Maraming salamat po. Have a great time and ingat po tayong lahat.